understanding um, from from what I'm hearing, what I'm reading is is just by me being around you, which, you know, it's like COVID. Just by me being next to you, I could t could get this um, disease. A Gold Coast hairdresser has joined a vocal minority of anti-vaxxers doubling down on unsubstantiated claims around the coronavirus jab. Ms Adler announced any COVID-vaccinated Aussies were no longer welcome in her salon due to fears over the vaccine's side effects and public liability insurance concerns. I don't believe we fully know what it's doing to our bodies, and especially our bodies as women. Many anti-vaxxers have cited anecdotal evidence that some women have seen changes to their menstrual cycles or menstrual irregularities after getting the vaccine. However, doctors and health professionals have stressed that getting infected with COVID-19 is much more likely to seriously interfere with your health and your menstrual health than minor side effects from the vaccine itself. Even if it discourages one single person from getting vaccinated, it's putting that one life in danger. This is a public health crisis. It needs to be left in the realm of medical professionals and no one else needs to intervene. Ms Adler's claims have been independently fact-checked by health experts and Facebook, Instagram and the Federal Health Department have since flagged them as misinformation. And I've gotten a lot more business from this because people believe and stand for what it is that I believe and stand for. The controversial stance has meanwhile been a marketing boon for the hair salon and another contribution to a dangerous amount of scepticism towards the life-saving jab. Almost one third of adult Australians have said they were unlikely to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Meanwhile, in India, an average of 4,000 people a day are dying due to the disease and the country's lack of accelerated immunization.